Happy Sunday, champions! Let's do that one more time. Happy Sunday, champions! All right. Are you ready to praise the Lord today? You know, there is nothing better to do than to praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. So church, I invite you to stand with us today and just declare your praises to the Lord because the Lord lives and inhabits the praises of his people. So join me as we praise our one and only Father. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Your face. 
praise our Father. What a joy it is to live in the presence and the peace that God offers. God said in, Jesus says in John chapter 4, verse 23, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit. They are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and truth. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come to you. Lord, we desire to worship you in the spirit and in truth, oh God. Holy Spirit, would you move in our hearts? Lord, bring us back to the to the true meaning of worship. Oh God, that Lord, it is not about us, oh God, but we are fixed on you, oh Father, our oh Jesus, on the loving, loving Father that longs to commune with his children. So today, oh God, we come with hearts full of gratitude and hearts that are humbly bowing before you, acknowledging you as God, the Father you Jesus we praise you oh God when the music fades all is stripped away and I simply
It all revolves around your throne. Who can know your glory? So high above, it's laid for us. You is yours, and the praise is yours, you're the one we bow before, reign over us, as we lift you up, you will reign forevermore. God of every moment Forever ground It's all
indeed worthy to be praised thank you father god lord we may end oh lord our god for with, with our worship for a moment oh lord but our hearts will continue to worship you oh lord our god our hearts oh lord and mind will 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 allow oh lord your spirit oh lord to come oh lord our god lord allow us oh lord our god to welcome O oh lord our god your very presence O oh lord our god indeed you are welcome O oh lord in our midst today O oh lord that we will expect O oh lord our god your your power O oh lord our god to be upon us O oh lord that you will O oh lord allow us O oh lord to be strengthened by the power of the holy spirit again lord we thank you we thank you for this opportunity that we can give thanks and glorify your name O oh lord through jesus christ amen and amen and once again, good afternoon, church. Before you be seated, let's go around and greet one another with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. powerful time of worship and good afternoon happy sunday church and um it's so good to see all the beautiful and handsome faces in the house today and for those that are joining us online hello and welcome thank you for joining us this afternoon and if it is your first time here today we welcome you and we look forward to worshiping with you um, and if you haven't already please make sure to fill out our connect card so we can know more about you and for our upcoming events we have our vbs set sail for champion kids set your course for adventure at our vacation Bible School for the whole month of August. And join us every Friday uh, starting promptly at 3 p.m. downstairs for a remarkable journey with a theme set sale. This event is designated for children ages 4 years old to 12 years old. And throughout the whole month of August, children will explore exciting Bible stories, engage in fun activities, and make new friends while also learning about faith and 
um, adventure. So sign up um, for Champion Kids um, Vacation Bible School. That's every Sunday. Sorry, I said Fridays. Every Sundays um, here at church downstairs um, starting August. And we also invite you to our 2024 CLC Wide Sports Fest. This is upcoming August 17, starting at 8 a.m. at the Haber Recreation Center at Burlington. So come and support our Scarborough family or just be part of this entire um, CLC Wide family to enjoy the sports sports filled family time again that's on august 17 at the haber recreation center at burlington and for our our upcoming clc ghana and italy mission in october please still continue to support and pray our ministry as they mission god's work and we also would like to note the applications are now closed but Please still continue to support. And if you want any information of all these events or if you want to belong in our community, maybe in our life group, our youth, or our champion kids, you can always approach any of our leaders. And you can also download our CLC app or visit our website. And you can even reach us or follow us on our social media pages as this is the easiest way to stay up to date with what is happening within our CLC community. And right now, it is offering time, and we thank you for your obedience to God, and thanks to technology, there are now so many ways that you can give. And if you look at the seat pocket in front of you, um, you will find a card that says Ways to Give. And for those that are giving by cash, there's an envelope in the same chair pocket in front of you that you can fill up, and our ushers will come and pick it up after I pray. And um, if you're giving by card, you can do so by visiting our guest service desk. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we come to you today in prayer, lifting our tithes and offerings and all the blessings that you have given us. Father, we thank you that you are always our provider. We thank you that you always sustain us and you never stop. So, Father, as we give back what belongs to you, may you use it for your kingdom, for your works, that we may be able to impact our communities and bring transformation to those around us because of what you can do through us. So, Father, and because of how you care for us. So, Father, have your way today. And even, oh God, for our message today, oh God, may we receive your message through your speaker today. So have your way, Father. We love you, and may you be magnified today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Um, before we pray for the benediction, we're not um, going to let this day pass without um, um, hearing some uh, life testimonies or the experience that one of our member family here uh, been through, you know, that process um, uh, for for the lead school. And today they graduated, five of them they graduated, and we are indeed blessed and glad to hear from our very own uh, the, the experiences that he can share to each one of us before we even pray for the uh, benediction. Let's call Arki! <laughs> Hi everybody, um, I actually prepared uh, two minutes even a few days ago uh, about my testimony experience in lead school, but I'm going to go a little bit off of it because I want you guys to see how God worked in my life. So two years ago, I almost committed suicide, um, but God spoke to me during that time saying that if you do this, you will suffer, your, your suffering won't end there. And also your family won't end there. So I prayed to God. I said, Lord, then if you want me to live, give me a church to belong to. And here we are. Um, and Lord, give me a Christian friends to pray for me and give me a mentor. So during that time, I actually a lot of um, struggled in life and a lot of testing and patience and a lot of storm that happened. But I was excited because I know that 
that was my, that how was my faith was growing and how was I was testing and before during that time as well uh, a friend of mine actually prophesied to me that telling me that you're going to be a man of God and so I was really excited for what God has for me and even during that storm I hold on to that promise and keep kept going um although it's not perfect uh like what we heard today it's always there are always detour um even at that time as well I hit I hit a plateau in my faith and I thought that was it uh is this it for me but I know there are a lot more for me to learn I'm not even halfway there yet um and then also I also don't have that much confidence in sharing my testimony during hour of power. Every time someone would say there's anyone here want to share testimony, I always hide at the very back. Um and also I didn't understand what a true son really mean. And I didn't understand that yes you are gifted but your character is as more important than your gifting. And I didn't understand what father's love truly means. And so um when I heard the news that my life group leaders uh John T and Beth I just want to recognize them um because when I prayed for for a um a mentor in life they actually walk with me they actually you know a lot of um a lot of prayer a lot of um hardship and a lot of um corrections um which is I cherish a lot and before they even told me that I'm going to lead school. Sorry Tony. Um Tony was so excited and told me that I'm going to lead school. So um and then now I found out that I'm going to lead school and when uh John T and Beth told me my heart still melt because I felt that wow the promise of the Lord since 2 years is now still going. It's still going and it's still happening and he wanted me to grow more. And so I said yes right away. I took the opportunity. I didn't worry about my work if I have to leave for a month or if I'm gone unpaid. I just want to follow what God wanted me to to uh, to do. So through lead school I learned that being a true son of God is more than enough of a title. Everything I have belongs to him. And no matter what happens to me, I am secured in my identity as his true son. So lead school helped me understand to be confident in my calling to lead that my purpose is to reflect, represent and reproduce in whatever form that may take. I also discovered uh the gifting God has given me and and learn the importance of character. So both in leading others in my personal life, especially uh in my personal life and at work. I now grasp Sunday message with great greater clarity than I did before. So as a result, I have gained tremendous confidence not in myself but in the Lord and what he's capable of. He is the only one I need to please, be used by and be looked up to. I no longer shy away from being stretched or from stepping out of my comfort zone. As I understand the significance of this experience, lastly, One of the greatest blessing God has given me during lead school and even before the lead school was the importance of family. And when I reflected when I prayed to God to give me a Christian friends, but God is so good that rather than just giving me a Christian friends, he actually gave me a Christian family, which is I have here and everywhere. So I thank you guys. Amen. Thank you, Arky. And before you um go back there, uh let's Extend our hands as we pray for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, indeed you are good. You are good, Father God. Lord, we are indeed grateful and thankful, Father, for the things that you're doing in our family here at CLC. And Lord, we are blessed, O oh Lord, that you have called and, and, and sent forth, O oh Lord, Arki to that one month training, O oh Lord. Lord, we thank you that He responded yes to oh Lord to that challenge to that call and may you continue oh Lord our God to mold his character and allow him to continue to develop oh Lord as he continue his journey oh Lord that he he becomes whole oh Lord that all the things that he've learned throughout oh Lord our God the whole month of July 
allow him, O oh Lord our God, to receive them, O oh Lord, and, and be able to use them, O oh Lord, to glorify you all the more. Lord, I pray that you'll continue to strengthen him, O oh Lord, that you'll continue to bring courage in, in his life, O oh Lord. And as he continue, O oh Lord, to build that confidence in Christ, O oh Lord, Lord, we pray that you continue to guard his heart, to guard his mind, O oh Lord, and allow him, O oh Lord our God, all the things that he'll learn, that he will use it, O oh Lord, to, to strengthen not only his faith, O oh Lord, but to strengthen his relationship with you and the relationship, O oh Lord, to the people that you have been sending him, O oh Lord, around him, Father God, that he will be able, O oh Lord, to use it, O oh Lord, as an encouragement to that sphere of influence. Again, Lord, thank you, Father God, for, for him being faithful, and thank you, O oh Lord, for the blessing and, uh, uh, and for uh, strengthening him, O oh Lord, our God, through this process. Lord, I speak life we speak life oh lord upon archy we speak blessing we speak oh lord our god goodness oh lord our god that you he will continue to walk oh lord uh, uh, and, and and run to you oh lord that he will continue to grow loving you all the more in his life again lord thank you and we love you lord in jesus name amen amen let's all stand as we pray for our benediction hallelujah let's extend our hands to heaven Hallelujah. And as we go forth, O Lord, from this place, may you, we continue, O Lord, to embrace, O Lord, the divine detours that comes our way, knowing that they are part of, of your plan, O Lord, in our life. Lord, may the Lord grant, grant each one, O Lord, the peace and trust in, in, in your timing, O Lord, and may he strengthen each one of us here, O Lord, our faith as we navigate unexpected turns in our life. May we find peace in surrendering control to you, O Lord. May we walk in the assurance that every detour is a step closer to the destiny you have prepared for each one of us. Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. Go in confidence of God's unfailing love and sovereign love and guidance. And all the people will say, Amen and Amen and Amen. God bless everyone. God bless you and see you again next Sunday.